Hello. Tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about a common misconception that comes up, uh, and quite honestly it's another one of those saltwater fish myths, uh, and that is the concept and the idea that one's nitrate should be zero. Um, I'm not sure where it comes from, I'm not sure who keeps perpetuating the myth, um, but I, you know, I made the the newbie mistake there because I had heard about that. I've seen a lot of other newbies who make the same mistake and they make the comments, oh, your nitrates should be zero. Uh, no, if your tank is healthy, you're going to have some measurable level of nitrates. Um, here's, here's what happens. If you reach the point where uh, your tank is so clean, you know, between water changes, various filtration methods that you're using, reactors, and that sort of thing, um, then what ends up happening is it, your tank can, you know, basically process out or consume out more nitrates than are going in, in which case you will measure zero. Now, here's the problem with that. Uh, if you do that with your nutrient nitrate levels bottomed out over a prolonged period of time, you end up with this lovely thing known as dyno. Uh, it's this long, stringy, nasty black, uh, brown stuff that, uh, quite frankly, you know, once it really takes hold, you have no recourse but to tear down your tank, scrub it all out, and basically start over again. Uh, so it, it's a disaster. Uh, so I do not recommend, uh, for that reason alone, I would say that, um, you know, a zero nitrate is actually, it, it's detrimental to your tank. Uh, second of all is that you need to keep in mind, corals need a certain level of nitrates to feed upon in order to gain some nutrients. Um, and they have to, they, they have to get it from, uh, from the water you know, the certain level of nitrates because they feed on them. So, uh, anyways, it's it's just one of those things where, unfortunately, um, you know, all the focus and attention is on keeping, you know, your nitrates down, and some people have just taken it to the extreme where they say, oh, just get rid of all of them, which, once again, is a bad idea. You don't want to get rid of all of them. You're going to need at least some. Even SPS corals um, still need about roughly five you know, between two to five, um, in order to have at least a little bit of nitrates to feed on, even though they tend to be pretty sensitive to higher uh, levels of nitrate. So yeah, even they need a, just a little bit of nitrate in there in order to do well. And if you're talking something like LPS corals, particularly the Euphelia family, you know, frog spawn, hammer, and especially torch, uh, you know, they get cranky if you drop them below 10, and in some cases, like the torch, you almost want to run it at about 20, um, just because of the fact that they prefer dirtier water and they need to feed off of those, uh, you know, nitrates that are in the water. So anyways, um, once again, you know, dino or starving your corals. Basically, that's what you're doing when you got zero nitrates. So it, it's not good for your tank uh, at all. And, um, you know, I mean, it varies somewhat, but generally speaking, depending on the type of corals you're keeping, of course, uh, between about the 5 to 20 range is considered to be kind of the ideal. Um, obviously, you're going to have exceptions. There are some people who run decent reefs at about 2. There are some people who run decent reefs, reefs at 40. Um, but for most people, I would say, you know, 5 to 20 is, is about the target range you want to shoot for. And, of course, you want to research the kind of corals that you're getting because different kinds of corals, as I pointed out earlier, have different requirements as far as nitrate levels. So, anyways, once again, bad fish myth for the saltwater side of the things. Uh, zero nitrates, it's not realistic, and if it does happen, it's generally a bad thing uh, that things are out of whack and out of balance in your tank. So, because even hermit crabs in a healthy tank will produce about two on a nitrate test, even if you have no fish in there, you know, and I saw that firsthand with my tank because I had hermit crabs in mine first. Um, and I was always getting, you know, at least two, even before I had any fish in there once I had just finished up the cycle. So anyways, uh, and then of course fish will produce higher levels of, of nitrates in a healthier tank. 
So that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.